Tell me about that experience, by the way, at Sundance. Sundance was absolutely amazing. First of all, it's beautiful up there. And we're walking through the streets and Precious had air, you know, had, was shown in some places and you would just see just the different people coming up to you. There were white men in their 80s saying, oh my God, my life is different. There were Asian women that were 20 saying, oh my goodness, it was just, that movie was so impactful. For me, the biggest accolade that happened in Utah, in Sundance, was we were sitting in this, um, I want to say like a, a club, and we were doing a press conference, a Q&A. Yeah. And when the Q&A was done, I had another interview, like a one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching them clear the chairs and the tables and they clean everything out. So when you can just look on the floor, I'm noticing there are people's pictures, like these big pictures painted on the floor. Like it was a circle of these famous people on okay. the floor that I'm just glancing and I'm seeing these people. So one picture I see who is, it's the only black woman on the floor. And I think it's Aretha Franklin. And I'm like, wow, that's right, sister. <laughs> like you on the floor in Utah. In Utah, right. So as we get ready to start this interview, I'm looking closer and I, and I'd say, is that, that looks like me. So now I can't hold it. I can't, I'm like, you have to stop for a second. Is that me? So now the manager or owner comes over and he says, yes. And I said, well, why is my picture painted on the floor? He said a group of sixth graders had to paint who their favorite people were. And you were one of them. Wow. Now I'm in Utah. That was the moment for me at Sundance that said, laughter crosses everything. It has no color, no age, no gender. It was just amazing. And I sat there for a moment just like, okay, that's Monique on the floor.